from mastery of the air, it would be easy to illustrate ways in which man has mastered the sea. But instead, let's meet someone who has worked with nature in the form of seashells to create a beauty that is unique. Called, appropriately enough, Flowers from the Sea, they are the life work of a remarkable woman, Marguerite May David Baker of Exeter in Devon. This is obviously an English rose and is made from shells found along the Dorset coast. But many of the carefully chosen shells used in her work come from much farther afield. There is no secret process involved, as you can see. They are merely wired together and later painted. We said merely, but if you really think that's all there is to it, try it sometimes and see how far you get. However, Mrs. David Baker has been making flowers in this way for well over 30 years. And although we don't usually refer to a lady's age, she won't mind us telling you she's not far off 70. Her work is constantly being exhibited, and although most of the flowers are immediately recognizable, the shells, sent to her by friends all over the world, are in many cases so exotic it would take an expert to identify them. Stranger still are petals and leaves in some cases made not from shells but from the scales of the garfish from India. No wonder they can safely claim these flowers are waterproof. Apart from straight decoration, Mrs. David Baker often makes wedding bouquets for brides and we wonder if it occurred to any of those young ladies what a practical choice it was. After all, a deceptively hard bunch of flowers is so much more dignified than a rolling pin. Seriously though, Mrs. David Baker seems to have found one sure way of getting beauty out of its shell.